Good morning and happy Tuesday, October 24th. I'm doing this every day, yet still I need to look at what day it is every day. <laughs> um, I'm in the processing of editing. Actually, no, I think I edited yesterday's video. I just need to upload it. Some people do an introduction like every day. I don't. Hi, I'm Dale. <laughs> I'm the Knit One T2 podcast. This is my Vlogtober. Usually this channel is where I share about my knitting and crafting. Um, this month I am sharing about my life. Just not a lot exciting, but um, how I'm kind of prepping for the baby to be born in December. December? Um, and yeah, and still my makings. So that's that. I just don't, I don't do that every day. But welcome to my new subscribers. I'm so happy you're here. And thank you to everyone who is watching my videos. I really appreciate all of your support. It really means a lot. So that being said, I have made my to-do list for the day. Um, I did not show my breakfast this morning. I had wraps, like um, the Siete tort almond flour tortilla wraps with some sausage and my cheese, my vegan cheese and scrambled eggs. Uh, the wraps totally fell apart today. So basically I just ate it with a fork. <laughs> I have some more coffee. I'm going to have some more coffee and sit and knit for a few minutes before I get going on my to-do list. I gotta put laundry away. I need to do some laundry. I have a load of baby laundry to put away. Um, I'm gonna pull out some ground beef from the freezer for dinner. My husband wants um, pasta with meat sauce and Liliana wants garlic bread for dinner. So, great. I, I've been struggling lately with dinners. I don't want to cook dinner at dinner time and I don't want to think about what to eat at that time. I don't know why. I just don't, my appetite like go, even though like I want to eat, I just don't know what I want to eat. I have a Walmart delivery coming today. I need to go to the recycling center because I didn't do that yesterday and I need to go to the library. My books are still there. So I didn't worry about going yesterday. Um, maybe I'll wrap some more Christmas presents. I have some coming in my Walmart delivery. I am getting pretty well set on Christmas. There's still some more, a few more things I need to get, but I feel good about like what I have. So that's good. Um, I did put makeup on today. Just eyeliner and mascara. Will I cry it off before the end of the day? Maybe. <laughs> Pregnancy hormones are crazy. Mood swings, crazy. I'm trying to go with the flow. I do need to vacuum today too. I should add that to my list because I'm so ready to get rid of this rug. Uh, hold on. This rug I got on Amazon. I loved it. The pattern matches my curtain so well. It's terrible to clean because even when you vacuum it, because part of it is raised, I feel like it doesn't get the whole thing clean. And it's like I vacuum and then immediately after it looks dirty again. <sighs> Bugs me. Anyways, that's my story of that. I'm tired of looking at a, a, a dirty rug all the time. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. Okay, sorry. Um, I'm gonna say oh I want to finish the sleeve on my cardigan so I'm working on my my harvest cardigan by tin can knits I'm still working on the body because I personally like to work my sleeves first and then finish my body um, so I am finagling this I did not do the decreases as written now I'm wondering if maybe I should have I think I complicated things for myself because actually in every other every other sweater. So the two other long sleeve sweaters that I made, 
I did not decrease until the last like row for the cuff. Rapid decrease. I got that technique from the crazy sock lady. Um, I don't know if she has like a tutorial or that's just what she says that she does. So that's what I did. But this one, I feel like the sleeves are pretty big. So I, I am decreasing, but not as, like not exactly as written. Like I said, maybe I should have, but I'm not ripping back. I'm not one to rip back. Um, I mean, if I really screwed up, that's one thing, but I'm not going to like rip the whole sleeve out and start over. Because I think five and a half. Hold on. I should have started decreasing there. It was about like two, one, two, like three inches before I actually started decreasing. And I want it to be bigger on this part of my arm. I want to be able to comfortably wear a long sleeve shirt and with a cardigan sometimes I like to be able to like be wearing uh, some like the sweaters like a cowl neck sweater Tur it's not like a turtleneck turtleneck but um, underneath because I use them somewhat like jackets in this time of year when it's cold but not like coat weather so anyways I'm trying to figure this out I'm writing it down so that I can make them both match using different colored stitch markers so I know where I'm decreasing um, so I can make them both match. And yeah, that's my story with that. So my goal, this was on my to-do list, is to finish this sleeve today. So I'm just trying to figure out if I should decrease again now. I'm close to the cuff. So I'm just not sure. But I'm ready to be done with this sweater. One, because I want to wear it, and two, because I want to make another one. I want to make a, a baby one. I am hopefully, assuming that everything is status quo with my pregnancy, uh, doing a bazaar uh, locally in November. And I would love to be able to bring a sweater, a baby sweater, maybe two. This is gonna knit up really quick for a baby. Would I cast on a smaller size and still be working on this? Yes, but why does everyone do that? I'll talk about that in a minute. But I don't have needles. I gotta finish Liliana's Christmas present. I need those needles. <laughs> I'm going to need those needles for the smaller size. I think it'll knit up really quick. All right, let me show you my socks. I, oh my God, I love these. Like, uh, okay, so that was the leg. Look at how the, the heel and the gusset came out. I just love it. Like, excuse me. Like, seriously? So cool. And then it like striped smaller here. And now we're back to that pooling. So the, the pooling, like, is going to continue on the foot and I'm so excited. I'm so excited about it. So these are like my on the, not really, they're not on the go knitting. I was working on these last night. Well, there, I bring them to pick up, but I really want to focus on the sleeve of my sweater because once I figure out the first sleeve, the second one's going to go so quick because I'm, I know what I'm doing. I just keep having to try it on. So I think I'm almost, let me just show you Liliana's um, Christmas present. It's fine. I'll just make sure that I don't. Okay, so this is what I'm making for Liliana. She wanted leg warmers. She does ballet. My yarn is a tangled mess. But this is where I'm at. So I measured her leg and I have it written down. Can't remember off the top of my head what it is, but I'm pretty sure that I need to finish this black row. And do one more pink row and then the bottom cuff. Does that sound accurate? I think it was like nine inches. Sorry if the clicking bothers you. My tape measure. Hold on. It's like six and a half right now. So 
I'll get to seven, maybe seven and a half or eight. And then the cuff is like almost two inches. So yeah, yeah, I'm almost done. I'm gonna keep measuring. But those are the size eight needles. And that's why I couldn't find them the other day. And I was like, oh my God, it's my size eight. And then I remembered. Oops. So there's that. So I will need those for the smaller size cardigan. We'll see. Oh my gosh, Dale, stop rambling. Okay, I'm going to go now and work on a couple rows of my sweater. I'll be back after. Okay, so went to the recycling center, went to the library, did not sit and knit when I said I was going to earlier, but I did find $13 of Starbucks gift cards and they have holiday drinks and they have one that I can have that's like almond milk or oat milk or something. Um, I can't remember what it is, sugar cookie something, it's gluten free. Sorry, water. Um, anyways, so I'm excited about that. I need to drink more water. I need to not have any more coffee, but I still have a little bit left, it's cold now. But I did go to the library and the recycling center. Did I say that already? Maybe. But I also just got my Walmart delivery, so I'm gonna show you that too. Some of the stuff is Christmas stuff I can't show you, but um, I'll show you what I got. At, of the books I got at the library and my Walmart delivery. So I picked up three Owl Diaries for Liliana because she said she wanted to start reading them again. She had read like a bunch and then stopped um, the fourth trimester. I can't remember where I found this book, but I figured I can read it. And then the first 40 days, this is one that I had borrowed at the beginning of my pregnancy Never really read it, so figured now is the time. Walmart, more cream cheese. What is on my counter? Don't even know. Some milk, more yogurt tubes because they just, they don't, they have a long expiration date and Liliana takes one every day. Chobani yogurts for my husband, four cans of corn because we were, I think I used the last one. I always try and grab a bag of chicken tenders because um, we do go through a lot of those. And I got some more sausage because Liliana decided this morning that she actually likes these now. So it's good. A good protein for her breakfast. And then my husband uh, likes these. So I encourage him not to eat one too frequently. <laughs> but he likes them. It's very late and I didn't let the girls and brew out. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm sorry. I forgot. Ready? Be free, my feathered babies. You coming out? Hi, Skylet. Hi, pretty birdie. What are you doing? You're molting. She doesn't have tons of feathers on her neck. Oh, are you all right? <laughs> Chickens are funny. Um, anyways, sorry, that might have been too fast. Where are y'all going? They're so funny. I love to watch them. They're loving it because there's leaves on the ground and they can, um, you know, dig through them. So I could not see if there's any eggs. One of the girls is laying. So I think she's, if there are any already, which I think there are, cause I think I heard them singing. Um, she's sitting on them. So I'll have to check again after. All right, I'm gonna go have some lunch. It's like almost one o'clock. I did have a pancake with ice cream and walnuts, so there's that. So I'm going to have some nachos with pork 
and cheese. I should have gotten more cheese yesterday at Shaw's. Apparently they don't have, they have the cream cheese at Walmart. But I need to double check. I don't think they have the shredded cheese. For eggs today, that is an entire breakfast and I'm so happy. Okay, so we have just been watching bring back videos on YouTube. Um, I just had a mini meltdown. I went downstairs to switch the laundry. I was supposed to grab my butter from the freezer. And I came upstairs and forgot it. And I was like, I am not going to make it up and down. My stairs aren't that great. So I'm like, I'm not going to make it up and down the stairs again today. So I got very upset. My husband came to the rescue. He went downstairs and my butter for me. So I'm making garlic bread. And honestly, the way I make garlic bread, I hope the TV's not too loud in the background, but I take bread. So this is my gluten-free bread and then regular bread for... Um, my husband, I already, Liliana, already ate. She was ready to eat at like 4 o'clock. She was excited for dinner. Um, and I just put some butter on it, some garlic powder, and then actually tonight I'm going to saute up some garlic that I chopped um, and add that on top too because I just feel like having lots of garlic today. So that's how I do that. Uh, we are going to eat, watch The Voice. Baby girl keeps moving. <laughs> A lot. Um, I will show a picture of progress on my sweater. But I think that's really it. I'm making pasta. I use the. Mm, hold on, what is it? How do you even say this? Banza pasta? Banza pasta. I'm recording. Um, chickpea pasta. I mean, I have multiple other ones. Like I use Trader Joe's gluten-free pasta too. Um, but I do like this pasta, so I'm having this pasta. And I made brown gravy because I didn't want meat sauce. Uh, pasta sauce. I wanted gravy and not pasta sauce, red sauce. So we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I'm just gonna. Hopefully knit a little bit. I can't knit as much at night. I get really tired, but I'm almost done with the sleeve of my sweater. So I will show a picture of that after. And then I hope everyone has a good night and I'll see you tomorrow.